attending university and attaining university degree has become very popular and almost everybody wants to get opportunity to attend university or a college for a degree for the purpose of um, um, getting a job or for the purpose of exploring that person's um, career but going to university without knowing the course or without understanding the course or the program of study is very pathetic so that's why i took that um, as a burden on my shoulders so that i can explain university programs at least um, for you to have the knowledge or the brief knowledge about it before you even start so that you know that um, this is exactly what I'm going to do right after my university degree or university years because if you know that you can have a better future so today we are going to look at one of the programs that engineers or those who want to become engineers study so that we can have um, a brief knowledge of it before we even start to apply so if you get to know it and you find this video informative kindly subscribe like the video and share it with your friends so that we can all understand the university programs that um, the universities are offering before we even start. So today we are looking at Bachelor of Science Material Engineering, Bachelor of Science Material Engineering. If you are in Ghana particularly, I want to say that um, Ken Westy has been the best engineering school or oh, MC Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology has been the best university in this area. So probably I will comment that one for you. And they have Kumasi campus and Obuasi campus. So we'll talk about it and we'll get to know the cutoff point. So stay with me till you get to know the cutoff point and those who qualify to apply for this program before you uh, move to the other video. Don't move, stay with me and let's understand. So material engineers use mathematics, physics, and chemistry as tools to explore, understand, and control how materials work. Yeah, what the other we have all the materials that you have from your phone screen, from your uh, phone that you are holding, from the machine, whatever machine that you are using, biomedical machines, your computer, any kind of machine that we have in this world has to go through material engineers they have it has to pass through them for them to know how it can work effectively how it's not working if somebody wants to invest any machine and then the machine is not working these are the people who are who are going to conduct research on it and know how effectively it can work if it works and it doesn't work properly these are the people who are going to know how to use it effectively so if you are having any problem with the machine or with invention or with a material these people play a role in making sure that that material is functioning effectively so they test and design all kinds of materials and see how properly it can work for you so you are going to use physics and chemistry as well as mathematics to know all these things to solve problems for instance biomedical these people invent um, biomedical devices to support and transform lives and they are helping a lot and when there is a deformity in someone's life or when there's accident for them to manufacture a machine or legs or arms for that person these people play a major role so from automotive to aerospace to biomedical to communication to whoever you need material engineers to test your materials to see how effectively it can work they use um, physics and chemistry uh, as well as mathematics so if you are interested in machines if you are interested in designing machines and testing machines and analyzing machines to see how effectively it can work then uh, uh, pursuing material engineering at the university is going to equip you with all the necessary knowledge that you need to do so they apply that knowledge to design new materials identify optimal existing materials and processing techniques and explain why some materials are not working i've talked about that before already sorry so i want us to look at those who qualify like I said, I am in Ghana for now, and the university that I am recommending for you is KNUST or Kwame Nkrumah University of Skills, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Sorry, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. No, I am sorry. All right, so I am cleaning it. The 
the reason I always talk about KNOS is that they are well resourced. Like they have all the laboratory equipment that will help transform your life and that will help you um, get enough um, skills in whatever you want to do when it comes to practical aspect of your course. So let's look at those who qualify. Science student, if you are science student in Ghana, possibly you are doing physics, chemistry, and then chemistry, 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 and elective mass. elective mathematics so if you have these three electives as your electives uh, you, you you have to um, know that you qualify to apply for this program because it's full of chemistry and physics as well as mathematics notwithstanding you are to pass your course subject especially mathematics and english mathematics english science you know you have to get three and if you want to go to KNOS the main campus you need aggregate 12 no, 15 rather, yeah, it's 15 if you want to go to the main campus from like grade 6 to 15 But make sure you do your best to get a better grade 15 or better will land you material engineering um, applicants or let me say um, Yeah, student at KNRST, but at Oguasi campus you have to get 24 like I said earlier, Kane University is having Obuasi campus. It's having staff campus at Obuasi, and they are also accepting from grade 6 to 24. So you check your grade. It's not about the campus, it's about the knowledge that you are going to acquire. So when you go to Obuasi campus, it's aggregate 24. They are, the reason being that um, this is new campus and they want yeah, more students to apply. That's why they have extended the kind of point. It doesn't mean that those attending the main campus are better than those attending the um, sub-campus. That's not true. So, Obwasi campus will accept you with grade up to 24. So, if, you fall, if you're a science student and you fall within grade 6 and 24 and you want to apply for material engineering at KNOSD, Obwasi campus is ready to accept you. So, take note and do that. If you are also... A level applicants. If you're also A level applicants, you must pass five or you must have five credits in A level, and um, you must also have um, English and mathematics. Pass your English and mathematics, get that one, and you must also pass five in your O level, of which applied uh, applied mathematics and, uh, and and pure mathematics as well as chemistry is also a major part for you. Chemistry and physics as well as applied mathematics and pure mathematics so if you want to apply that's enough for you if you're also a much mature applicant you must also have a credit passes in your WASI or in your o level so if you want to get to if you want to go to KMST, that's enough for you let's look at job opportunities or where you can work in fact we are dealing with materials for so from whatever material that you can think of to the biggest material you can ever think of so from aerospace, the industries that you can work in, aerospace, automotive, automotive industries, um, communication industry, technology, like the Google, um, Facebook and other stuff, materials, phone manufacturing, car, I want to go phone manufacturing, all kinds of manufacturing industries. Manufacturing industries, transportation, biomedical, But anywhere we have material, anywhere we are using something, anything qualified as material, these people play a major role. So from car manufacturing to aerospace to uh, um, earth exploration to transportation to biomedical to communication to technology to what, what can you think about? What can you 
think about so just think of anything and then make sure that as you go through material engineering you take part in almost every project so that you know how things are working and how some materials are not working friends the channel is your guest in the CLU. kindly subscribe to the channel like the videos and introduce to your friends so that we can keep this going and we all get the understanding of the university programs before we even start attending all right thank you